Hi guys, welcome. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy 2012, New Year. 2012, baby. Yeah. 2012. So crazy. I know. Here and we, we have Bella Michelle with us today. Yeah. Yeah. She's so happy to have I'm you so back. I'm so excited. Thank you. So you guys had good New Year's, I assume. Um, crazy. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to hear about your most memorable New Year's Eve. I, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. my parents always watched, like, the big New York ball drop. Mm -hmm. And that was what we did. We didn't do anything like parties or anything mm -hmm. big like that. But my sister and I would get our dress-up clothes on and be princesses. <laughs> so or we called ourselves, like, Miss Americas. We loved <laughs> the Miss America pageant. So we'd get our Miss America stuff on. And then we would um, just watch the ball drop. And we would have chips and homemade guacamole. And we had a drink that was called scotch and soda. But it was actually... <laughs> We called it scotch and soda. I don't know why. It's funny that you knew that. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. Oh, scotch and soda. Like, later when I was older, I'm like, oh, you don't mean Sprite and vanilla? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what scotch and soda was. Yeah. So it was Sprite and vanilla and lime mixed together. Yeah. Try it if you haven't. Oh, wow. It's so good. That's funny. So that was our New Year's. It's fun. fun. It's That's exciting. Fun. Um, a memorable New Year's that I had was when I was in high school, mm. and it was the first time that... I really started liking Casey. Mm -hmm. He was a senior, and it was it was 2000. It was the year it was 2000, and he right. came over to my house with a group of friends. And I had seen him, and I would met him earlier at Lagoon the summer before. But I remember he came over that night, and I was like, I love you. <laughs> I'm going to marry you one day. Wow. Was it like Y2K? Was it that year? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That was crazy. Which is kind of funny because that was kind of a scary year. Mm -hmm. Everyone was like, everything's oh, going to yeah. crash, and 2012 is supposed to be the Another end one. of the oh, world. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. And I remember this that. This is the last year we have, Y2K. so it's making a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, uh, what about you? Um, not so much. I think my family wasn't really big on New Year's. We were just big on Christmas and just Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But once I moved out and I was with my friends, I think they were a little bit more memorable, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. you know, a little crazy. But nothing with my family, really. I, I yeah. guess we never did that. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, like, trying to think of my most memorable. Yeah. I mean, I'm from New York, so I spent every single year oh, in New York. Wow. But I've only seen the ball drop once, and it was, you know, I always thought it would be fun to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 like, I was oh, like, oh, let's just go to the Times Square. And let's mm. Oh, actually I've, done, actually, I've had some good ones. Wait, Stop lying to us. Yeah. 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 I'm like, what is that good? I did, so we went to see the ball drop, but it was just, you know. Oh wow, great! We, and we yeah. left, but then that's something we've always wanted to do. Yeah. It's fun. I think it's it was it's freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, like, it's oh. frantic. There's so many people. You're just like waiting to see it. And you're like, okay, all right, great. And then you're like, <laughs> you're out. But uh, one year I was working for, and I, I helped produce like the MTV uh, New Year's party. So we got to like with wow. the Foo Fighters and Jack Black. So I remember that. That was in Times Square, though. Fun. I just remember that. that was oh. wait, Lisa, I haven't had a memorable New Year's. Oh, I just yeah, was with the Foo Fighters. No, I was like making the set and like. Throwing confetti in, <laughs> but I was there. I, was I like, love it. That's awesome. That's really I'd fun. take so it. Open. I would take that. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I don't really remember any. I remember. I there's one interesting fact. I've never been kissed on New Year's. I've never had a New Year's Eve kiss. I even when I was married, somehow like I don't know. We always missed it, and I just have never had one. So like right on the dot. You're Bella? my New Year's kiss. <laughs> yes. Bella? Yeah, like right on the three, oh, no. two, yeah. one. And yeah, right. I don't know if anyone will believe that. I know. What? I know. It's weird. I was like, have I really? And I was just thinking, I'm like, have I? Really, and that's true. I've never had a kiss. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm sure. Like I remember. In, million oh, comments. Yeah. Yeah. Line them up. Maybe yeah. I'll have twenty five thousand this year. <laughs> <laughs> Make up. I remember one time and me and my friends we made a time capsule and we thought we were so cool. Like you oh, are cool. We were like we wrote down how much we weighed, how much we wanted to weigh when we were like thirty, oh who we were gonna marry, who we were in love with at the time. And I remember like two years later we really like dug it up and we were like we're such idiots. But I wish I still had it. It was so funny because things that were important, I guess, yeah. were so important. Super important. How much I weighed yeah, the time. Right. Yeah. What we were wearing, we did what we were wearing, <laughs> and we did like our favorite songs and like our clothes. And I, if you guys, we, Elisa, we got to go find that stuff. That'd be so fun. <laughs> Dig it up. That's so that's funny. That's such a fun idea. Mm -hmm. We should do that this year. Let's make a time capsule. All right, let's do it. Let's the do moms it with the time kids. capsule. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. To kick yeah. goals off. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The kids would love that. That's yeah. such a fun idea. Like bury it. Uh huh. Treasure, little treasure. New Year's is all about sort of. It's a new year. Let's make yeah. a resolution. I mean, have you guys ever made resolutions? Every year. Oh, yeah. Every year. Every year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I finally stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I always get disappointed in myself because mm -hmm. I always, like, I try so hard and then it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. And so I, I stopped making the actual, like, New Year's resolution. Mm -hmm. And my resolution is to just be nicer to myself mm -hmm. and not so think about it so yeah. much. Yeah. I think it's more like how we talked about the spirit of Christmas. I feel like 
New Year should be more the spirit of making goals for oneself throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. And that just like a reminder of like, it shouldn't be a job or your plan to make it for the whole year, but maybe a reminder to always set goals, always achieve for something Mm -hmm. that you're like going for fitness, health, whatever. There's right. more, more people sign up for gym memberships. Yeah, that's like the gym. Oh, yeah. It's the it's best like this, time. When I used to be it a just, trainer, yeah, it was like me. the gym would get slammed yeah. in yeah. January and February and then it would like trickle off. And yeah, it's a feeling of like it's everything can be renewed. I can start again. Yeah. But I think kind of like what you were saying, it's it, it's a dangerous thing to put all that weight on it and like let yourself because yeah. Yeah. you let yourself down. I saw, I saw Oprah talking about this. Like, <laughs> when you make the goals and then you don't do it, it's like you've let yourself yeah. down until yeah. it makes it that much harder. So you have to really just sort of think of it realistically. Yeah. Um, as Especially like, as my women. whole life will change January 1st. Yeah. That's a right. couple of years ago, pressure. I made the New Year's resolution to keep my nails done. <laughs> Because mm-hmm. I one, did though. nails. I yeah. did nails for a living, and I never wore nails. And so I'm like, I'm going to make a New Year's resolution to keep my nails on because my mom does nails. Mm-hmm. And I didn't do it. <laughs> because you're just like, you're a good model. Someone's doing your nails, and their nails are ghetto. You're like, oh, you're doing my nails? What? Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone ever stuck with a New Year's resolution? I took that I promised myself wrong. I'd always Shame. eat chocolate, and I always have. Yeah. So. <laughs> High five yeah. resolutions. Yeah. I'm going to kick Day. <laughs> this year. And now I can keep that one for sure. <laughs> I feel like Shay is Shay's the best at setting like he mm-hmm. sets goals and he reaches them. Ooh, it's annoying though like how good he is at it. He's like, amazing. And I don't know what the secret is. I just watch him and I'm like, he's always like, been the like losing that, weight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, you know, it wasn't a New Year's goal, but it was a goal of his, well, I guess for the past four years it's been a goal. But it finally clicked. Like he finally yeah. just well, said, I'm gonna do this. Even making the videos was I'm gonna make a video mm-hmm. for every single day for yeah. one year, well, which is yeah. so hard to do. Yeah. People don't know how hard it right. is to do. It's not Back so in easy. high school, he, he so like hard. him and my mom made this candy and soda diet that that he wasn't gonna right. do it for a whole year. He didn't have candy and soda <sighs> for a whole yeah, year. Yeah, and he did it, and I just remember wow. like, Oh, you're so annoying. How are you so <laughs> dedicated? Like well, he really did yeah. it, he, and it was no problem. He just mm-hmm. Shay's very like once he makes up his mind, that's what's gonna happen. Well, awesome. How That's do you good. guys feel? Do you guys have? Do you have good willpower? <gasps> I do actually. I know I really do. I I didn't when I was younger, yeah. but I think after Olivia, I think I got like this crazy motivation to just mm-hmm. like everything I'm just sticking to, and I just go like full force. And she's really helped me get that out mm-hmm. there. But you? yeah, with the New Year's resolution, I think what I do is. I give me. I think I do like five, and then one usually sticks throughout the whole year. Oh, one, awesome. mm-hmm. but that's at least right. one does. You that's know? so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's yeah. something that you've done in the past? It's like one of your ones. Um, that you've stuck well, with? gym. The gym. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I joined a gym and I started going all the time, mm-hmm. and it got just, you know into a routine, and then mm-hmm. I'm all about routine. So. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the only one that really stuck. Oh, that's right. okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, really good. yeah. that's like my one every year. That really? It's my one every day that mm-hmm. I try to get to. I'm like, ah! Oh. Mm-hmm. That's really good. That's really yeah. good. It's easy to put things off and mm-hmm. you put everything in the basket of like yeah. years, you know? Well, it's hard when life is always changing. There's so mm-hmm. much going on. Like, mm-hmm. to find time. If everything ran from nine to five and you could figure out your life within that time, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. easy. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I think kids. when I didn't have kids, it was way easy to organize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not. And now I'm like, blah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So do you it. have New Year's resolution, resolutions this year? Or no? Yeah. Mine, are, mine is kind no. of, um, when I turned 27 this year, I wanted to kind of find out who I was. Mm. Um, things that I really liked, my style, how I wanted to decorate my house rather than just trends. And I wasn't very good at that because so much has happened in between that time. So that's my New Year's resolution is to find out what I truly love and who I really am. Mm-hmm. That's that's so yeah, no, that's, yeah. That's a good one. That's, mm-hmm. that's like a life goal. <laughs> that's really good. That's, that's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, because I, I feel like if you find happiness with yourself, it's easier to mm-hmm. keep goals or to yeah, take mm-hmm. care of yourself mm-hmm. because you know very what true. you want. But I think when you become a mom and you become a wife mm-hmm. and all of those things, you forget to take care of yourself or to, mm-hmm. to stop and think, is this what yeah. I want? Is this what is making me happy? So mm-hmm. high five. So, that's yeah, that's yeah. a great one. So yeah. how do you do that? How do you feel like you're going to do that? Or what do you like? What kind of steps would you take to do that? I think that's I great. Like, I'd love to, yeah, like what, what would be? Because I, I feel like I'm always trying to do that, too. I'm yeah. like, that's something at a certain age. I think like your mid-20s, mm-hmm. your late-20s, you start to think about 
Yeah. Like, what, what do I want? Yeah, yeah. What, what do I want to do? Right. right. Yeah. You know? And like, what, what, how am I making these decisions? And then you're, you're sort of more just conscious of it. But sometimes it's good to think of steps or like yeah. when, you know, something happens, being very conscious of like, okay, what do I take a minute and yeah. think for a second before and I decide exactly. if I want to do that. I think yeah. that that's mm-hmm. it. Taking the time, not feeling like I have to get my house decorated now. I'm going to go and I'm going to look at different sets and I'm going to look at different things mm-hmm. together and I'm going to see what I love. I'm not going to think about what my friends might think or mm-hmm. what my family might think I'm just going to do what I love or Mm -hmm. same with clothes I worry so much about what everyone's going to think about what I'm wearing but it really doesn't matter if you feel confident then you're going to rock whatever Mm -hmm. you have on so true and you you feel better just about yourself than like reflects in your life I think as a woman sometimes we become almost too passive Mm -hmm. with what the world wants from us what our friends Mm -hmm. what our parents what our kids want from us and it's almost like you need to start to fight for what you, like, you need to fight for what you want and who you are. And if yeah. you don't know that, like, I think that was my biggest problem with marriage. I didn't know who I was and I lost myself. And it was like, how can somebody else love me if I don't know who I am? Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. that is so important because your kids need to see that confidence in right. you. Yeah. So it's like, if you like something and you're so sweet and like passive sometimes, I think it's good for us to be like, this is what I want and this is what I'm going to do to get it. Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. well, you, you know, and you, subconsciously you're taught not to like, be too yeah, you're just sort of vocal yeah. and not be Or how many times a day do us yeah. women say, told, it's okay, so or high maintenance. Yeah, just yeah. high maintenance, yeah. you know. And, um, oh, or, me, high maintenance? Yeah, right. No, Where it's like, I well, what's so bad? <laughs> you know, what's so bad about that then? Or yeah. can you just embrace those things? Cause but isn't that confident? Like, or isn't that... Not confident. Is that sexy to guys when girl, a girl is confident and like this is what I want? And it mm-hmm. might be high maintenance, but mm-hmm. this is what I want. Well, we were talking about that. Like, it's okay to be high maintenance sometimes and to expect whatever you want from a guy. Yeah. If you if you mm-hmm. want flowers every day from a guy, tell him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, yeah. Or like simple things. What were we talking about? Like simple things like opening the door for you or c- carrying in oh, your groceries. I think we're talking about how, how like too. respect and relationships has changed and how like there's not really courting anymore and how everything's kind of been like downplay, right. like texting and emailing, like the emotion, the real, real emotion of dating and getting mm-hmm. to know somebody has kind of been like covered or I don't know fogged if yeah. you will but from like through texting and it's less emotional mm-hmm. I was saying I feel like I've met a lot of nice guys but am I pa- am I passing over good guys because I'm wanting too much for myself or like I don't know we're but kind of talking no, about that because no. I think no. like a guy should carry your groceries in don't ever tell yeah. a guy not to because if you tell them not to so many times they're not going to offer to anymore. Like, yeah. So it's okay to be high maintenance in that way. Yeah. yeah. And is that yeah. high maintenance? I mean, it's, I don't it's think a, so, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it, some people are different too. Some people are like, I want to carry my own groceries, get out of the way. Yeah. And some people are like, I want you to help me. <laughs> and and that's, yeah. it's whatever you want, you're going to mm-hmm. get. And it's right. that, um, what's Shirley McLean said that I remember, she was like, you get what you deserve, you know, mm-hmm. and if you feel like you deserve it, you'll get it. You that's know, hard for me sometimes because I've been so independent for so long. It's so easy for me to be like, I can do that. Don't, I can, you know, so, and that's what you're like, no, you should let them do that. So yeah, that was it. That's how that. <laughs> or you right. tend to not say too much. You know, you don't want to seem like you need things. Yeah. Or you're, yeah, you're, you're fine. Needy, you don't say it, but then you're yeah. pissed off when they don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that kind of like even with going along with the New Year's resolution thing, like just being able to like think this is what I want and going after it mm-hmm. and saying it's okay. Like that's why I feel like you. I mean, going back to dating, jumping from New Year's <laughs> to dating, that's how you find the right person is just knowing in your mind like I'm not going to settle if. Mm-hmm. If I don't feel yeah. a spark or if Never. I don't, you know, if, if they're not like this. Like, you can obviously talk to somebody about yeah. those kind of things. And there are little things that might be like, eh. But if you talk about it, it's just... Well, and yeah, if you're compromising and pretending... Right. You're never going to be happy. Right. And at yeah. some day, at some point, whether you're 50, 60, 70 years old, in that marriage, mm-hmm. if you've been faking it, you're, you're going to be resentful and unhappy. That's so big. Right. So you might as well just put it out there. I feel honest. like so, yeah. And yeah, we we're talking about as women sometimes, like, it's okay, it's fine. And that's why another thing in my marriage was like, I kept thinking things would get better or kept hoping, like, oh, it's fine, it'll be okay. But like you said, it's so good to know what you want and what you love because mm-hmm. after a while, I was like, I'm not okay with this. This isn't how I want to be, like, mm-hmm. how my marriage, my life to be. And yeah. So, I mean, you're well, you, you're sort of the youngest. Too, yeah. Right? I mean, I'm like, you're, young so puppy. I, like, do you feel like you're? I mean, I, I don't even know if I was thinking about some of these things at your age. I'm like, not that you're so, but I'm like, oh. are you constantly? Sort of <laughs> I'm like, like, thank you. I'm no, no, guys. no. You're. So, I mean, I'm I'm yeah. like ten years old. You're so like, but you, but oh. I mean, do you think? Are you are you like thinking this way as well? Yeah. All no. The time? I'm all about. <clears throat> I'm, like, really traditional, so yeah. I like when they do that. So I always accept it, but I'm also very independent as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm never declining help. I'm like, oh, that's points for you, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. I don't have to ask him to do anything. Even more in just the, the like, I want to know who I am. Do I feel comfortable in who I oh, am? Like, yeah. these kinds of things. Are you, are you constantly sort of thinking about I'm those all, things at this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think 
we definitely, like you, we need to know what we're bringing to the relationship. Everybody mm-hmm. needs to bring something, and if it's positive, that's awesome. Um, but, yeah, I think you have to yeah, be know yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to know yourself for mm-hmm. in a relationship because then you're going to go through and kind of change yourself for this person and kind of, you know. It's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. And then you won't be happy, and then you'll end up breaking up because you're not happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you might as well. And you guys grow up faster a little bit, too, because you yeah. had to with kids, mm-hmm. you know. Um, Whereas I feel like sometimes you can go through life not sometimes questioning these things or thinking about these things or it takes a little bit longer. But I think being moms, um, you guys were able to sort of... I know, I'm like 24 physically, but I feel like my mentality Mm -hmm. or my maturity is Mm -hmm. like I'm a 30-year-old woman. Mm -hmm. And so dating guys my age, I'm like, really? You want to sit and play Xbox right now? (laughs) (laughs) You're getting out with my son. Like, (laughs) you know? No, we can believe it. It's not feeling. so interesting. I just need a 50-year-old man, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know about that. (laughs) It just depends on the person. Yeah. Yeah. 24 at heart, yeah. 24 Could be a perfect match. Age of self is true. (laughs) That's true. Um, So does anybody else have resolutions that they're going to make this year? That's a good one. I I feel like it's going to be a tough one to talk. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm like, like, I'm going to cure cancer. I think. You know. (laughs) I think for me, I think I'm going to try to be more positive. So look, you know, count my blessings. And I... Just, I don't know, just, I always like, oh, I don't have this, or I really need this, but it's just like, oh, I have this lovely thing, you know, instead yeah. of not seeing what I don't have, or, right. you That's know, so yeah, to so just That's be more appreciative mm-hmm. of everything. It's good, because then you'll probably mm-hmm. wind up getting more anyway, because yeah. yeah. it's, it's always, if you're always feeling like, I don't know, I don't yeah. know, that sort of the energy that yeah. gets yeah. put out there, yeah. you don't mm-hmm. get. I want to be better about, like, teaching Cooper things. I don't, I think I'm, like, around <laughs> Cooper, and I spend time with him, but, like, how long, like... I try to remember the times where I get down physically on his level. I'm like, let's learn these words or these numbers or these colors. And because those are the days I enjoy the most where he's like, remember, mom, you told me that. And I'm like, oh, I did teach you something. I did implement something in your life. So I'm going to try to work harder with just taking like an even just an hour of just time with him and I where I turn off my phone. It's just like I just feel like I need to do that better this year with Cooper. And that's so good. That's oh, good. I, nice. mm-hmm. I want to teach him to read. I saw this card game. I, we could do it with our kids. Mm-hmm. You guys, I'll make a video of it. But my this gym, um, he owned the gym that I was coaching. He taught his son. His son is only three years old to like basically read like what the like oh, small yeah. words. Oh, but it was a memorization game. But mm-hmm. he started recognizing them and then reading them. I'm like, yeah. he should be on like the Ellen Show. That's amazing. <laughs> but it was easy, and I think we could do it. But I'm like, might as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just taking the time out to do it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And not even something profound, just more time with Cooper one on one of him and I. Make yeah. that that's a good idea. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's the biggest part of resolutions. Like we make all these ideas and goals that we want to do, but then it's the doing, it's the the pushing Follow yourself through. to do it. Yeah. It's so difficult. I don't know what it is. It's like, yes, I'm doing it in here, yeah. but why is it so hard to physically just because yeah. you get into routines. routine. They say it yeah. takes mm-hmm. twenty one days to break a routine. So yeah. you know, if if you, you have to you have to keep going. You know, the first yeah. days are the hardest days. You're, you're most likely going to quit you those have first to be few days, prepared but you can keep okay, going. Okay, this is going to suck. So yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Expectations. Yes. There's this yeah. thing that everything should be easy. You know, we have this culture. It's like, just make it happen fast. But really, like, mm-hmm. you know, it's like no pain, no gain, that kind of thing. Where it's just like, yeah. if you want to physically get fit, it's going to hurt. Yeah. Yep, it's going to burn babies. Mm-hmm. It's, it's worth That's it. what they say in the other Kaylee oh rolls the eyes. Yeah. 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 into it, you know, so. Yeah. Like Shay with the whole weight loss thing, yeah. he like, he like yeah. people think, wow, that happened really fast, but he's been doing it for so mm-hmm. long, battling with it in his mind and going back and forth and fluctuating yeah. and fluctuating, and then it's like all of a sudden it just clicked, yeah. and he did it. But he's been working on it for a really long time, and that's what it is. It's yeah. like you I just, love it. He's so cute. Mm-hmm. So I remember when we'd come goals. home from the gym, he'd be like, oh, you guys in your gym, I'm just gonna eat my cheeseburger, and now he's the one <laughs> yeah. like. Carly, how many calories is in that? Every time I see him, he's like Rules sweating, are getting off a bike, and he's I know. like, arm bands. He's just <laughs> like, there's a spare second. He's like doing push ups. <laughs> like last night, he called me. He's like, oh, I'm done with the shoot, but they just dropped me off, so I need a ride home. He's like, you know what? Never mind, I'm running. I'm like, what? Where are you? He's like, I'm running. I'll be there in a minute. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, but it's awesome. a mental thing, yeah. too. Like you said, you spend so much time thinking about it. I think once 
he got in it and he's there. It's like it's addictive. It becomes addictive, addictive. Yeah. when you do. You find something you love and you become good at it, and it comes in your like mm-hmm. working out. Used to be like it's harder now to find the time. But I remember when we were on mm-hmm. such a great routine. I was like honor if I couldn't go work out. Like I just yeah. need to go run and yeah, kick something. Sure. Oh, I want to feel better. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you will. It's your routine. I, it's your thing. So yeah, you don't not want to do it. Just like yeah. if you're eating junk all day. That's your. Routine. It was like my chocolate, which was funny. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. that could be a fitness the logo. Working out is my chocolate. Yeah, the new dark chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to try and similar to yours. I think, Kayleen, just or just even prioritizing myself so I don't wear myself out. I think I have a tendency yeah. to think I that's can do anything. Thing. Yeah, or I'm like I'm and always years old. saying yes, yes to people. That's a big one. Which is not saying yes to yeah, everyone. <laughs> no, that's a female. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be rude. You want right. to help yeah. everything. Yeah, and, and genuinely, you. I, I want to. Usually mm-hmm. when I'm saying yes, it's not like I don't want to, but then at a certain point, there's no time in the day. Yeah. yeah. There's only so much you can do. Yeah. And I think women tend to do that, too. It's just sort of oh, sacrifice yeah. yourself. Mm-hmm. And then... Which is good. It can be character building, but yeah. like you said, there's a balance. There's you a can't balance. do so much where it's like, oh, what did I do for mm-hmm. myself today that I feel mm-hmm. like me still? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then... Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like all that. the above. <laughs> we can go into that's a whole nother show. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. And I, it, it's exciting that it's sort of a new year. It yeah. is really exciting. It's, it's refreshing. It is. It's gonna be a yeah. good one, ladies. And yes, it is. It's, it's a yeah. big one. So totally. we just started. Yeah, yeah. I know. It just mom's you. It's all. It's all new. Are you guys having fun? So much. Yes. Amazing. Oh, I'm loving I it. Love Are it. you guys loving it? Because I'm like. <laughs> yeah. I know. We we want to hear about your guys' resolutions. Do you have any? Um, and we'd love to sort of, you know, talk about those. Yes. yes. Time. And comments always yes. help, but always yes. is such yes. good feedback Suggest. for us. Mm-hmm. And if yes. you have any other questions that you think we should be discussing or topics, yeah. let us know. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you guys. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye. See you next time. Thank you.